done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. What if... What if I just give up? Every time I feel that way, I have to remind myself. What if... You just keep going? Isn't this... What you asked for? So this video is on the topic, isn't this what you asked for? Now, I got that quote from a Instagram post that had Goku in the background of it and those words, isn't this what you asked for? Right on top. And it really got me thinking, like where I'm at today, isn't that what I asked for? Isn't that what I asked from God to, to make a way to get me to be an entrepreneur, a creative, you know, in the photo, video, business, industry, all this stuff. And, and despite the hardship, despite the troubles, the, the heartbreak, the hurt, despite the joys, the highs, the lows, the sorrows, you know, despite everything that I have gone through, where I'm at today, if I, if I think about that question, isn't this what I asked for? Well, isn't it? You know, there was a, a, a great quote by Alex Hormozzi, and it's crazy because we actually use this as one of our uh, huddles or rallies one of these past Sundays. And so it, it goes like this. Imagine you're talking to God about the person you want to become. You say, I want to be courageous. God replies, then I will give you monsters to terrify you. That way, you can conquer them. You say, I want to be patient. God replies, then I will make your work harder and longer. That way, you can learn to wait. You say, I want to be wise. God replies, then I will give you failures that will crush your spirit. That way, you can learn the value of judgment. You then say, that sounds like a hard life. Can you give me a good life? God replies, just like we measure the quality of a blacksmith by the strength of his steel, I measure you by what you are at the end, not the fire and the hammer it took to make you. A good life isn't an easy life. A good life makes you into a good person, and that, my child, is a hard life. So, it just kind of hits home if you th if you really take a moment and Whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, whatever situation you're in right now, like, isn't this what you asked for, though? And some people may think, well, no, I didn't ask God for any of this. Well, what did you ask for? You know, you asked to be X, Y, and Z. You asked to be happy. You asked to be fulfilled, uh, to live in your purpose. You, you asked these things. And God's giving it to you. You're living in purpose. You know, you're fulfilling on your end. Although it may be difficult at times, although you may struggle, although you may find some hardships, you may find heartbreak, you may find that you're unemployed, you may find that you've got $5 in your bank account and you're living paycheck to paycheck. Shoot, you may find that you're living it up. Great job, great everything. And yet there's still, there's still a piece that's, questioning in the back of your head like why am I here why am I here in this position right now and I would go back to that quote isn't this what you asked for me personally I asked God you know give me wisdom uh, help me with you know financial stability help me create something that helps others grow in their purpose or in their dreams, their career, whatever that looks like, you know, allow me to make a difference. And so 
as I sit here creating content, as I, as I sit here working on different things, there are times where it's like, I I'm tired of it. I, what, what if I just give up? What if I just quit right now? And I got to that point where I did want to quit. I did want to give up. I wanted to just say, you know what? I'm done with the vision that I had. I'm done with the dreams that I had written down in my journals or that I had wanted to chase after. And then I saw that image. Isn't this what you asked for? Now, it, it can it can really kind of boggle somebody's head if they continue to over like oh if you overthink it well again you go back to the, oh i didn't think about that or i didn't ask for god to put me in this situation well let's let's go back to you know you want to be courageous well god will give you monsters to terrify you so that you can conquer them you want to be financially stable or you know wealthy or rich or whatever it may be well you got to be able to you have to be able to be faithful with the small be faithful with the little so that God knows, hey, if you're wealthy or if you're rich or, you know, the, the clients and the money comes in, you're not going to waste it. You're not going to use it poorly. But you're going to use it with wisdom. You're going to be wise with your money. Oh, you know, I want to be happy. Great. You're going to have some hardships to really understand what it means to truly be happy. And so for whoever's really listening to this right now, just take a moment and just think, you know, isn't this what you asked for? So you may find yourself complaining about the hardships. You may find yourself in a rut. But everything that you're going through is what is going to prepare you for that next level. It's going to prepare you for what you have been asking for. You know, we can go back to the whole Alex Hormozzi quote and all this stuff. But, you know, you ask God for something and he's going to give you a test, a trial. He's going to give you something that pushes you to the next level. Your next steps. And it's, it's great because it says, you know, just like we measure the quality of a blacksmith by the strength of his steel, I measure you by what you are at the end. So when a blacksmith goes and creates a sword or creates a weapon, whatever he's working on, he's constantly putting it through the fire, constantly hammering it down and building it to make sure it is a strong sword, whether it's steel, iron, whatever material is being used but it's constantly being put in the fire, constantly being worked on. And that's kind of, I don't even want to say that's kind of, I, that's where we're at in all of this is we're being put through the fire, the hardships, the, the lonely times, the times where you think, hey, you're alone or you, you, you're struggling so much and you think that God is nowhere to be found. Well, God's still there. You're just being tested. You're being tried by fire. And so you need to continuously keep moving forward. You know, reflecting back, I reflect on and I have it on my phone at all times now. You know, isn't this what you asked for? Reminding me daily in those times where it's like, you know what? I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't want to do the work. I can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's never going to come. Tomorrow, later, next time, it's all just another f- way of saying never. You're never going to find enough time. There's only 24 hours in a day and you're asleep for eight of them. Myself, maybe four or five, but I'm working on it. And so what are you actually doing with the time that you're given? Sometimes you got to make sacrifices. But every trial that comes our way, we are pushing through it. May not be the easiest thing to do. May require you to be a little bit more, more vulnerable. Open up a little bit. Find somebody to mentor you or coach you or keep you accountable. And sometimes those people are very hard to find. Because not everybody is going to want to keep you accountable. So there's this quote that I was sharing by Chris Williams or Chris Williamson about 
people keeping you accountable or people like rooting for you and all this stuff. And it, it says people root for you on your way up because you remind them of their dreams. They tear you down once you're there because you remind them that they gave up on them. Everyone wants you to do well, just not better than them. And so that's why it's difficult finding somebody who's actually willing to keep you accountable, who's actually willing to help push you to the next level. It's because a lot of people don't like to see you do better than them. And I speak from the creative standpoint because that's just kind of where my career field is. And a lot of times there are creators who will try and kind of push you down or you, you'll find a few that are actually there with you and say, hey, no, keep going forward. Let me help push you up. And then you reach back to pull them up as well. But for the most part, from what I've seen, it, it's a very tough. There is a very difficult time finding individuals to actually keep you accountable because they themselves may not be able to keep themselves accountable. They struggle with the idea of, well, I'm here, but I want to be here. Well, there's this whole gap of levels you have to get through in order to be here. It kind of also goes back to the last uh, video I made on entrepreneurship. You know, being a video game, you have to learn to level up. You have to learn to grind. And every step you take, it goes back to, well, isn't this what you asked for? Hey, God, I, I need help pushing through this trial because, you know, I just, I need to get through the month and I need to make it just a little step further and... Okay, cool. Isn't this what you asked for? You get through it and then boom, you're hit by another wall, another struggle. Being able to have that accountability, it kind of reduces the amount of people who can keep you accountable. And once you find somebody who is actually willing and able to keep you accountable, that's where you're going to continuously be putting yourself to the test. Every step, every new level, Every trial, every, you know, habit you want to build, everything you want to produce, you want to create, you, whatever it may be. Again, I talk from the creative field perspective, but it could be any field. You know, we, we were created to create. And uh, I have a whole small group lesson on that. But, you know, realistically, you know, we were made in God's image. And so that includes his creative nature. And so, as we begin to create, we need to find partnerships to help us with that creation, to keep pushing us forward, to keep moving us in the right direction. And so sometimes you got to take a step back. And in those moments where you're feeling, hey, you know, I'm stuck. Hey, I don't know what to do. Well, isn't this what you asked for? You've made it this far. It's time to dive a little deeper into either seeking God, into finding who you're able to really trust in and keep that accountability with because it's one thing to consistently be moving forward and consistently you know asking yourself isn't this what you asked for isn't this what i asked for isn't what i'm doing here what i've been wanting to really do 